Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toby, and today I will be doing the second part to my review of the LEGO Spider-Man Daily Bugle LEGO set. Now, on my last video, I did the minifigures part of this LEGO set review, and by the way, if you haven't, please check it out, I highly recommend it. And in this part of the video, or the second part, I'll be taking a look at all of the builds. And yes, there are builds in the set, there are around four side builds. So that being said, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how massive the Daily Bugle building itself is. Like, it is huge. It is tall. It just goes on and on and on. It is a massive, tall building. So that being said, yeah, let's finally go ahead and take a look at the side builds first. So, uh, moving the Daily Bugle to the side a bit, and uh, moving here. The first side build I want to take a look at is this, and at first it may not seem like anything that interesting, until you put Sandman on there. Now that is something. So, this is actually just Sandman rising out of the ground, and I gotta say, even though a lot of the builds in this set are really nice and well done, some of the best parts about this set, especially when we get to another part in this build, the Daily Bugle itself, are the destruction scenes. And it is just done so well here, where it looks exactly like as if um, a giant sand tornado looking thing is just erupting out of the ground. And, like, you can tell that the concrete is, like, rising with the sand. And it just also gets smaller. Like, the debris just gets smaller and smaller as it goes up. It's just such a well-done build. It is also kind of poseable for what it is. Like, you can make it look like this, but obviously it's really meant to look like this. It's just such a nice and well-done build. And, yeah, it's a really great side build in general. I really like it. And now moving on to the next build, we have this taxi, where in the front here, you know, it's a typical New York taxi. Um, unfortunately, we do have a sticker here of a license plate. And I will say, this is really interesting, where on the car lights, they actually uh, used an interesting part usage, where they decided to use a flick fire missile piece and connected this part here through a Lego Technic pin. That is really interesting part usage that you really don't see with Lego sets every day. And over here you also have an antenna as well as I believe a car window right there. And a couple more stickers here saying taxi on both sides. They're the same sticker. And you also get a couple more stickers up here that also say taxi right here and here. Yeah, as you can tell, there is a ton of stickers in this set and it is pretty frustrating. And you get another sticker here of another license plate, if I'm not mistaken. It is the same. Actually, no, it is not the same. Well, actually, is it the same? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. And over here, we actually have another really nice part usage of a gun piece being, like an old western gun piece being used as the exhaust pipe. That is pretty neat. And as for the interior of the car, you know, it's a typical interior for a taxi. You can fit a couple minifigures in there, which is pretty neat. So, yeah. Um, overall, a pretty nice, solid taxi build, but don't really have much else to say about it beyond that. So now, putting the taxi away, we have the next build, that being the Spider-Mobile, or the Spider-Buggy, as I believe it's officially called. But in the comics, it's called the Spider-Mobile. And yes, this is canon in the comics. I've actually read some Spider-Man comics that feature this vehicle. And even though this is the greatest LEGO Marvel set of all time, well, spoiler alert, but at least as of recording this video, yeah, even the best has to include a Spidey vehicle. Whether you love it or hate it, yes, it's included here too. In terms of overall looks, it looks for the most part like it does in the comics. Unfortunately, you do get a sticker there and another sticker here and here. 
And you can also move these up and down too, which I'm not sure is intentional. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a window. In the comics, this is a window. So yeah, not particularly fond of that. Um, here's what the back looks like in case you're wondering. Again, pretty detailed for what it is. And I honestly do not have much else to say about this buggy build beyond that. So now to put it back where it belongs. And now moving on to the next side build. And if I'm not mistaken, it is the final side build. We have Green Goblin's Glider. And it's, you know, a fine Green Goblin glider design. There's a couple studs here to put a minifigure onto, which is pretty nice. But unfortunately, I don't have much else to say about it. It's an interesting color for a glider, though I will say it's a little boring for what it is. But it is pretty much everything that needs to be for a Green Goblin glider build. So with that being said, those are pretty much all the side builds, three of which can actually connect to the main Lego set itself. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move back to the actual Lego set. Um, so the way I'm going to do this is that, okay, so here is something that is worth, another thing that is worth noting about this Lego set. So if you go up here, um, you can actually remove the roof like this. And I'm going to set that down. And you can also remove the front walls like this too to reveal play space in the interior. And of course, because it's a modular building, you can remove each individual floor. So with that being said, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much remove the... And I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much review each individual floor. I'm just going to go floor by floor. So I'm just going to remove everything here. And all we seem to be left with now is the bottom floor, which in of itself is a pretty massive build. So, with that being said, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, shoot, one of the background base plates fell. But I guess it really shouldn't need to matter much. But I still prefer it if the base plates are kept there. So, with that being said... Yeah, um, here is the first floor to the Daily Bugle. Yeah, it looks like the base plates are falling down. Okay, I don't think I'll really have a use for them anymore in this video. Anyways, yeah, here is the Bugle itself, the bottom floor of it. Um, you get a couple really nice detailed flower pot builds with flowers in them, as well as a black fire hydrant, and it looks like. And this is a really nice tiled off, uh, like, area. You can also put a minifigure there if you wanted to. Like Aunt May, for example. So that's pretty neat. And again, that stud here, it pretty much belongs to the Sandman minifigure erupting out of the ground. Like this. Oops. So, yeah, you can have him do that. And moving on to over here, there's actually a newsstand build, which has a print here. And this is actually the first print we'll be taking a look at in this Lego set, where there's actually a separate bag dedicated to uh, 25 uh, exclusive printed newspaper pieces like this, which is pretty nice. So glad a lot of these pieces are printed. It's practically like 3D, it looks like, or to an extent. And it says, no crime, no thanks to Spider Menace. Obviously, this one seems to be heavily uh, edited by J. Jonah Jameson. And there's also a uh, sticker there that says, newsstand, comics, magazines, and postcards. And there's a lot more stuff in here. Where There's uh, three stickers, unfortunately, one of which is like a New York postcard, I Love New York, or I Brick New York and just another New York postcard. And over here, um, there's also a newspaper that shows Business Fisk, 
Again, that's a print, which is pretty nice. And as for in there, there's a couple of white studs for you to put a minifigure there, like a worker. Um, so that's pretty neat. And just gonna put this back on. Or actually, I think the arms should be a bit extended. There we go. Yeah. Whoops. Just like that. So, and now going around from there, um, yeah, you can tell this is a massive model because the entire Lego set rests on a base plate. Oh yeah, there's also an air conditioner unit back there too, it looks like, as well as a barrel for some reason. There's also a couple more seemingly wooden boxes. Um, going to the back here, um, there are a couple builds for a couple trash cans. Well, okay, one of which is a trash can, the other which is a recycling can. This one's a trash can with a really gross, moldy hot dog. Yuck. Um, and the other one is a recycling can that has, well, cans in it. So, yeah, nothing more, nothing less. Just as simple as that. You also get up here another air conditioning vent with a bird on it and you get a light here and there you also get a sticker that reads um exit do not block and there's also some graffiti there too so yeah i'm just gonna put the light back there so And then over here, there's a web power blast piece. And if you open it up, there's a backpack. And as far as I can tell, this is a reference to the PS4 Spider-Man video game. And covering that up. And now, um, going back to the side of the building. Um, we have uh, uh, more boxes, and you'll also notice that there is actually a hole right there, as well as in this build here, which seems to be a volt build, a volt box, or an energy box, I don't know exactly what these are called. I believe this is a sticker, and here's a print, but you'll also notice that this also has a hole on there, and the reason they're there is so that way you can expand upon this set and connect more modulars with the set. We'll remove that uh, one of the boxes and you'll notice that there was there is the rat that managed to beat Thanos and the Lego instructions actually confirmed this is the rat that beat Thanos which is really interesting and over here you'll also notice that there is a, a sticker that says New York on it for a manhole and there's also something really interesting here like you'll really notice that this part of the build is off compared to like the rest of the set but removing that, you actually, it seems to be like an explosion hole or something. By the way, it seems to lead into the interior of the first bottom floor. And so with that being said, we shall now officially return to the front. And in other words, the entrance of the build itself, where once again, we have three stickers here. This one, this one, and this one as well as a posing piece there, which you can actually, once again, mount a minifigure onto, like that. Um, so that's kind of neat. But removing the minifigure off of there for a second and going into the first floor. Yeah, this is the best view I could get of the first floor, unfortunately. Um, sorry if it appears a bit dark. Um, but yeah, there's a, there are some seats down there as well as some more newspaper stands. Um, I'm going to take them out right now. So yeah, they seem to be the same ones as from the front newspaper stand. So that's kind of neat. So now to put them back, back in there. Um, Sorry if this is taking a bit of a while. Yeah. And there is also 
an interesting build for a vending machine where you where it dispenses soda cans that's always nice and on the side there's a sticker that says uh web juice which is pretty interesting um i guess J. Jonah jameson is really capitalizing his hatred on spider-man and you'll also notice in there that uh there is another sticker on the door piece there i'm sorry if it's hard to see um and there's also a corner table there and even an entrance gate uh that you can have open and close um again it's just really hard to see in video and i'm sorry for that whoops kind of broke that part <sighs> yeah again this is not a very easy lego set to review okay i, I think you get the basic point of that part and then we get to one of my favorite parts about this floor with this giant sticker here. I wish it were a print, but still it's a sticker. And it pretty much says, it's a giant sticker that says, this just in, vampire spotted on subway and panic as garlic supplies hit all time low. And that is actually a Morbius reference. Many people have obviously made memes about it, saying that this piece is pretty much going to make like, uh, this is the first Lego sticker to make like a billion more billion dollars or something like that. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, um, I'm just going to try and take a second to put everything back to the way it initially was. And, um, and there's also a pair of handcuffs and a walkie talkie by the corner desk and even a really interesting elevator design with um, interesting, amazing, exclusive up and down prints. Unfortunately, the elevator doors cannot open, but still neat. Oh, and you also get some more newspapers on the wall, uh, newspaper prints. So let me just try and pop each of them off. So the first one here reads, um, New building for KYC newspaper. And now trying to put that back. Oh man, it's, it's so hard to get in there. Next one, whoops, did not mean to drop that one. I swear everything's falling down in this review. Let me just, oh my gosh, even the corner desk ended up getting disconnected. Next one reads, um, Lego man walks on the moon and even shows a Lego minifigure astronaut. Now to put that back. And the final print reads Spider-Man threat or menace. And it shows, I guess, a demo uh, d more demonic version of Spider-Man. And I believe that is the last of the newspaper prints and pretty much everything I need to say about this floor. Oh, wait, one more thing, one more thing. Um, there's also a really neat automatic door feature that you can slide in, open and close like this. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to say about this bottom floor. And yeah, that was not an easy part to show on video. <sighs> okay, let me just uh, spend a second trying to put everything back where they initially were. Uh, sorry, again, uh, sorry about this inconvenience. Think that'll do for now so and now uh, moving the first floor aside i'm pretty sure it should be easy from here on moving on to the second floor which should be a lot easier to review because we actually can remove these front panels so with that being said yeah this is what the front panel to this floor looks like and it has three pretty massive stickers. 
Um, one of which is a TV screen saying earlier today, uh, breaking uh, villains' uh, promise to stop uh, being bad guys. Can they be trusted? I doubt that. And over here, we also have an interesting thing where it's like just the facts. Um, and it shows Dr. Kirk Connors, uh, Miles Warren, and Scarlet Spider. Uh, sadly, we still have yet to get a variant of the lizard in physical Lego form. And the final sticker we have to show here is Vote Osborne for Mayor, showing a Harry Osborne minifigure. So, with all that out of the way, let's finally go ahead and take a look at the main floor itself. And personally, this is my favorite floor in the entire Lego set. I honestly kind of like how it's designed, um, where it's, you could like do casual stuff on this floor. Like it, it's just a casual working space. I really like it. Um, but yeah, moving to the side here though, cause I do want to talk about the exterior first though. Uh, this is also the first floor where the escape ladder is and you can actually bring it down like that, which is pretty neat. And it's also worth noting that there is an action pose piece here. So that way you can uh, pose superheroes like Mysterio on there. So that is worth noting. And over here you just get more windows. And on the back just more windows. So with that being said, yeah, I gotta say. Um, you get... A nice, another nice part usage of a bucket piece being used as a mini trash bin, as well as what it seems to be a stack of newspapers. And the top one is another exclusive print that reads, Law Times, um, uh, Mur Murdoch wins big lawsuit, because Matt Murdoch is a lawyer, but it's also worth noting that he is indeed the daredevil. So, trying to put that back in there. And we also have some more chairs and desks. And it's a nice cluttered space and I really like that. Um, and you also get uh, jumper tiles here as, uh, dra as drawers, which is nice. You get a red cup, a coffee mug. Well, actually not a, that's a coffee mug. This is a coffee drink too. And you get another exclusive printed piece here that reads, um, Spider-Man, uh, finally unmasked. And you also get a couple TV stickers here too. And, uh, the other two in the back are the same in case you're wondering. And you also get a, uh, water fountain build right there too. As well as this nice little build that is like a kitchenette. And essentially you get what seems to be an oven. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. As well as a pink coffee mug what seems to be a box of donuts, and a coffee maker, and some drawers, which you can actually open up too. Unfortunately, once again, there is nothing inside. So that's pretty much everything I need to say about the second floor. So now to put that away and move on to another really well done floor. That of course being the third floor. And like I said with the Sandman build, or the Sandman destruction scene build, this part of the build is just one of the best things about this Lego set, in my opinion. Like, it looks exactly like an authentic destruction scene. It really does. It looks so phenomenal. So well done. It really is an amazing build in general. It's surprisingly stable for what it is, too. That's what really surprised me. Like, I was really expecting this to be a very... Um, unstable, fragile part of the set, but they actually do a pretty good job at making this part of the build sturdy. I am really impressed. Another thing worth noting is that on the back here, you'll also notice a couple of studs. And it, it, you may not notice it here, but there's also a couple anti-studs that will receive that. That'll also prevent this thing from falling forward when you have it in the state, which is just so awesome. So with that being said, yeah, again, this is one of the best parts about the set. Like it, it looks exactly like you can just like reverse the destruction. Like it, it just looks so cool. But now over here, we of course have what seems to be Peter Parker's office with a typical table, a sticker of Spider-Man and a telephone. 
And yes, it does look like you can recreate that one Spider-Man meme. Whoops, accidentally flipped over that chair. Um, let me just try and put it back in. And over here we have Peter Parker's camera, a spider, a giant spider web. And over here we have another newspaper print that reads the conspiracy and it looks and the and it shows a UFO trying to abduct a cow, you know, typical conspiracy stuff. And you also get more drawers that once again don't really have anything in them but are still cool nonetheless. So yeah, but now to put the newspapers back where they belong, as well as the drawers. You also get a pretty nicely built printer build as well that you can open up like this. And it's a nice typical printer design. So yeah, but once again, don't really have much else to say about this set. And you may notice that, oh, and you also get a uh, pizza box built piece as well. Um, oops, accidentally knocked over one of the boxes again. And then on the side, you get more escape ladders. On the back here, you actually get a door that actually leads to a balcony, or should, and another light. So, yeah, and just some more windows beyond that. Oh yeah, and you also seem to get a post-it board as well. But again, beyond that, don't have anything else to say about that floor. And now moving on to the final floor of the Lego set. Um, wait, this is what the final floor looks like. And um, you get these, I think these are spikes that tend to hang off of uh, buildings sometimes, but just generic windows beyond that. And then over here, we get J. Jonah Jameson's office right here. And we get another stack of newspapers saying a uh, reward for photos of for of spider-man and we also get another sticker here that uh says um parker you're fired which is not a very good sign to come unfortunately and yeah and behind there you also notice uh more drawers as well as what seems to be a, a space crystal piece and a couple trophies and then over here, um, you'll notice that we get what is essentially a TV with a smaller version of the sticker we took a look at earlier. And John, this is a nice, well-built TV build. But now to put that back. And we also get uh, Betty Brant's desk as well. And what seems to be a text saying, um, Miss Call E. Brock, obviously for Eddie Brock. And now moving on to the sides, again, more escape ladders. And on the back here, we have an advertisement for Just the Facts of the J. Jonah Jameson, another Spider-Man PS4 reference. And you'll also notice that there are a couple uh, bars at each end so that way you can have a minifigure hang off of it. And you also get a couple lights here too. And interesting enough, you even get another air conditioner build with another bird, except this time it has a nest and they and this is probably the best part usage in this set because the, the piece they use for the nest is actually the fur piece they use for the 2016 Craven the Hunter minifigure. So that is pretty neat. So trying to put that back on. Whoa. Okay, was really not expecting that. At least not hoping that to happen. So yeah, with that being said. And now over here, we actually uh, have a place to connect the spider buggy build with this part here that can spin around. And again, you can pretty much just connect the spider buggy build to there like that. Whoops, another piece fell. So that's everything I have to say about that floor. Now moving on to one final floor. Um, well, actually, one more thing about the build of the set, really, and arguably the most iconic part of the set, possibly, we of course have the Daily Bugle logo itself, the roof, I guess. The Daily Bugle uh, logo itself is pretty great, You and, and I, I love the brick-built bugle as well, 
And going up, we also have a really tall radio tower, as well as, uh, as, well as a long streak of power blast pieces that is clearly meant to fit. Uh, the Firestar minifigure right there. Let me just try and add her on. There we go. Yeah, just like that. And, uh, yeah, and now moving on to the back, um, there's another print right, uh, vent print right there. And even a water tower build with a couple stickers being graffiti, one from Miles Morales, and the other of which from Green Goblin. Whew. So there you have it. That is pretty much everything about the build of the LEGO Spider-Man Daily Bugle LEGO set. Pretty much all the builds. Oh man, this is quite a video. Or either way, this is LEGO Toby. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time in part three. Goodbye.